Welcome to What's the 411, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Onika McLean, and who we have with us today is Asha Boston. Hi, Asha. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Yes, welcome to What's the 411. So Asha is an amazing visionary, and we just had to have you on the show. You need to tell us all about the, well, I don't want to like give it away, I guess, <laughs> the miseducation of black girls in New York City. How did that come to be? Sure. Well, the miseducation of black girls in New York City is an event that was thrown by my documentary series entitled The Dinner Table. The Dinner Table is a five-part documentary that aims to change the narrative for black women in media, and we also offer media literacy and self-esteem building workshops for high school and college students. Um, the workshop came about because we wanted to create a platform outside of our documentary um, to have young women share their truth, and we're very inspired by Lauren Hill, so we decided to name it after Lauren Hill, The Miseducation of of black girls in New York and it was just a wonderful event. How do you target the women that you well the young girls that you're going to help? Um, through the workshops that we do. Um, as I mentioned before, we do workshops at high schools and colleges to talk about media around. literacy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we also show the film. And so through that, we develop a mailing list and, and a following, um, especially on social media, of young women who really want to stay engaged with our content. And so it was very easy to kind of, you know, just get the message out and bring them into the room, especially since they knew that their voice was going to be heard and it was going to be the centerfold. How can we find your documentary on social media or on oh, your yes, website? Oh, yes, sure. Um, our website is www.thedinnertabledoc.com. Doc .com. Mm -hmm. um, there you'll find all of our information. If you'd like to follow us on social media, we're on Twitter and Instagram at Dinner Table Doc. And you can find us on Facebook at The Dinner Table Documentary. So tell me a little bit about the documentary. How did you start? How did you get involved in it? Like, what happened? What you know, ignited that kind of fire in you. Yes, um, it was actually inspired by Essence Magazine. They had a contest um, mm -hmm. where they were looking for films about multidimensional black women. Mm -hmm. And I thought that it was something that I can do. And since I have a background in journalism, documentaries just came naturally to me. So I decided to enter the contest. And I missed the deadline, but I say that happened <laughs> <laughs> divinely because I ended up with this amazing project on my hands that I was able to share with an audience that really needed it. Mm -hmm. And so it shows stories of young women who are just doing extraordinary things that you don't normally see on television. Like we have an African American girl who sings Korean pop music. Right. You don't see that right. every day. That. <laughs> we also have a young woman who is a journalist. Her name is Ranisha Bing, and she won an Emmy at 24 for doing a news story with NBC. And you know, we just show their stories um, just through through different dinner table stories, and it's an amazing experience. And just highlight it. Yes. So who gets invited to this dinner table? Like, who is it? Everyone. <laughs> is, it, is it the social media gurus? Is it the business woman? Is it just the... 12-year-old uh, girl, like, how, how, does, how does it work? What's the yes, synergy sure. like? Um, we bring in high school students, college students, and professionals for a night of very intimate networking. So we kind of break down the idea that there's going to be a VIP section with a VIP t table, and only the important people will sit here. Um, we, we really let everyone get an opportunity to talk to someone who can possibly change their life. Because as you know, sometimes all you have to do is, is tell someone what it is you want to do and what you want to be, and you don't know how they can help you. Yes, it's so true. Just open yes. up and be honest and yes. be transparent, right? And Absolutely. Then, you're like 23 years old. <laughs> like, how are you such a boss at 23 years old? <laughs> I, I believe I've been a fighter all of my life. Really? Um, yes, I was born prematurely um, at two pounds, one ounce. And um, I, I don't remember the story myself, of course, but my parents, you, right? yes, my parents <laughs> told me that I, I've always always um, just had this spirit in me to get things done and, and to really live for something and so um, you know just realizing I was um, lucky enough to realize my purpose very on very early on in life mm -hmm. and so once I solidified that I said you know what this is something I have to go for full force so I've been running nonstop empowering since. girls to do their best yes to be their best selves yes so where's this dinner table going after the New York table. Is it going anywhere else? Oh, yes, doing? it is. We are going on tour, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going on tour. Posse, do you hear this? <laughs> 
yes, um, after our dinner event in December, um, thanks to social media, the word spread very quickly about what we were doing. And so people in different states started to request that we visit those different states and we bring the event there. And so we're actually starting off um, on March 30th. I'll be headed to Atlanta, Georgia mm -hmm. to host a dinner at my alma mater, Agnes Scott College. Mm -hmm. And we'll be headed to Mississippi right after and we'll see what happens from there. Oh my gosh, so the dinner's on tour. Yes. So, so how do you start the dinner? Do you start with the documentary or do you just, that, that's how it works and then you you, we I'm usually like, start, invite me in like oh give me it's a little, an experience like, give me a little. <laughs> from the time you mm -hmm. step into the room it's just a very different air everybody is so warm and welcoming everyone is happy to see you mm -hmm. um and, and you're kind of ushered to your table or you you choose where you want to sit you know we allow everyone the opportunity to again mix and mingle with everyone in the room um, and we show a nice video clip in the beginning um, just to get everybody in the spirit um, with some videos of women in media who are doing phenomenal things like we show clips of Viola Davis's Emmy speech mm -hmm. you know just to get everyone excited and, and ready for what's about to take place and um, we, we allow some talking and once the entrees come out we ask everyone to do a cell phone blackout and we really encourage people to connect at the table because a lot of times we're so connected to our phones we don't realize the, the art of conversation the beauty of conversation so we yes. usually request people turn off their phones and if they really don't trust themselves they can hand it to someone next to them <laughs> and you know we just allow time for it for networking and and not just networking but really soul searching and getting to know who you are and who someone else is across the table and then after that we allow people to turn their cell phones on if they want to social media their dessert and, and <laughs> oh yeah and hashtag yes. the dinner table yeah. um, again which has helped us tremendously um, but you know it's, it's really inspiring and encouraging event um, sometimes we'll bring in speakers and we'll honor them with community Shiro awards to show that you know no matter where you get in your career it's very important to turn around and give back and, and help those coming up behind you um, because for more than anything we want our students to know that success is possible but it's also nothing if you don't help others around you yes yes that's amazing so Thank what about you. sponsor sponsorship how does someone help you how would a company or an organization come and donate to your cause how does that work what Absolutely. Um, well, for our dinners, um, we were very lucky to have Brooklyn Magazine, Ebony Magazine, and Homegirl Magazine um, sponsor our gift boxes. Mm -hmm. So they sent so much literature, and it was so great because, again, we're all about sharing the stories of women of color. And so it was great to have this physical literature so once the attendees left the event, they're able to still, you know, kind of hold on to mm -hmm. our principal. Um, and also we've had bakeries in the neighborhood, you know, just give us tons of, of baked goods for the event. It, it's been incredible the support that has, has come out, especially through donated goods. All right. Ebony's doing this Woman Up initiative now. I went to a luncheon uh, last week, uh, Saturday. It was really amazing, so I know they're probably going to help again. So, oh, but that's yes. so great. Thank oh you. my goodness. What else do you want to tell our audience? Do you... Oh my goodness. Well, if you have, <laughs> I want to tell you everything. But again, if you have the opportunity to check out the Dinner Table documentary, please visit our website at www.thedinnertabledoc.com. And there you'll just find a, a portal that will take you into a completely different world of, of what everybody says now, black girl magic. Black girl magic. <laughs> black girl magic. I mean, Women's um, History Month. I Absolutely. mean, you're just doing amazing things. I'm just so honored to have Thank had you, you Thank here. Thank you so much for having me.